Hi, my name is Harrison, and I'll be talking about how to host a Zoom webinar. So let's get started. Webinars differ from Zoom meetings in that participants are automatically muted with their cameras disabled when they join. Only the host and select panelists are able to present. You can also have up to 1,000 participants. So this can be pretty appealing if you have a large company and only want to push out information as opposed to have a smaller meeting where you're pulling information from each participant. Keep in mind, webinars are not standard in every Zoom account, so you will need to purchase the webinar add-on at zoom.com. Once you've activated this add-on, you will be able to see this webinar section of your Zoom account. Notice that webinars has appeared here. So here's how you schedule a webinar and add panelists. From the webinars page, click Schedule a Webinar. You'll enter a topic for the webinar, which will be the title of your meeting and a description if you'd like. You'll get to choose when and how long the webinar will last, as well as the time zone. You can require registration if you'd like people to sign up ahead of time, and even include a webinar password if you want to make sure that it's more secure. Then you can enable video for the host and for any panelists that you'd like, and specify what type of audio you'd allow, telephone, computer, or both. Webinar options include Q&A, practice sessions, authenticated users, and recording the webinar automatically. You can also choose to schedule a webinar with someone else hosting other than yourself. Once you've completed this form, simply click Schedule, and your webinar is created. From this page, you're actually able to invite panelists to join your webinar. Simply go down to the bottom here where you see invitations and click invite panelists. From here, you can enter the email of someone that you'd like to invite. You could also choose to invite a room if you have Zoom rooms enabled with your company. Once you click save, this panelist now has the ability to join so that they're able to use their video and audio during the webinar. Notice that this webinar size is 1,000 attendees, and if I would like to send the invitation, I can copy it from here or email it to myself. From the webinar page, you're actually able to add a lot of other features as well, including email settings, putting a custom invitation in order, branding to add your company's logo or banner images, polls if you'd like to create polls to ask all of the participants, enabling Q&A so that you're able to elicit questions and answer them throughout your webinar, as well as other integrations and live streaming at Facebook Live, Workplace, YouTube, or other sources. If you ever need to view this webinar or start it, you can start from this page. Otherwise, go back to your webinar homepage where you can see it listed in your list of upcoming webinars. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about Zoom webinars or other Meeting Tomorrow services, check out the links in the video description. We specialize in producing both live and virtual events around the country and are here to help.